Hi friends, so continuing on from the previous tutorial, in this tutorial I'm going to be creating a script that will list all the files in a particular directory, it will go through that directory recursively, identify those files and print out the complete file names. What do I mean by complete file names is that not only will it output the file name, but it will also output the location of that file from the root up to the file name, all of it. So let's get started. Now the first thing that we need to do is uh, for this one is we need to import the OS module. So once we import that, let's create a for loop and declare a few variables like path, there's and files. And then we are saying OS dot walk. So let's specify a directory users ma academy and then documents after that let's uh, so in here uh, let me explain this part first so i'm declaring three variables through which will i will access the contents of this command that is being run so this os is the uh, module that i'm importing and this walk this is the function of the os module that we will be using it takes in this parameter or argument the location of the directory uh, which i want to uh, work with now after that let's create another for loop and this time we are saying for f in files so what it does is that it creates a variable called f for this variable called files which will store the file names of the uh, which will store the individual file names of all the files in this directory and all those directories beneath or underneath this one now in here we are creating another variable called f name and then you are saying os.path.join and then you are saying join the path and f so this is uh, i'm saying this is i'm using the path and join functions of the os module and i'm saying join this path and then f this is the path i demonstrated this in the previous tutorial what it does is that it identifies only the directories not the files so it will identify all the directories uh, in this directory users ma academy documents and all those directories underneath it so what it will do is that it will only identify the directories not the files however in here i'm creating another for loop and i'm saying go through all the files in that particular directory and store them in a variable called f now as you do that in here what i'm doing is that i'm creating this f name variable and I'm saying join both of this so join the path and the F so what this means is that join the location of those directories and then append the individual file names and at the end what I will do is that I will say print F name so let's go to the finder first in here you can see that in my documents directory I have three directories DIR1, DIR2 and DIR3 and the first one I have this mp4 file and the DIR4 I have two more files media files and the dir3 i have three text files so now let's check this if we run it now in here you can see that it identifies the contents of that file so these two are hidden files you can we didn't see it in here in my finder window all those files that start with the dot these are hidden files you cannot see them so underneath that you can see that it says users ma academy documents so underneath that there is a directory called dir2 and underneath dir2 there are two files this one that are that have the dot mov extensions so these are media files now if we go to dir2 you can see that these two files are there and then under dir3 i have three other files three txt files so in here let's go to dir3 you can see that there are these three text files and the last one is dir1 which has this mp4 file now if we go to dir1 you can see this mp4 file in here so this is how you can uh, identify files uh, in a particular directory and you can also through this identify the complete path to that file so another thing that uh, i want to mention is that uh, let's say you're running this Python script interactively and what you want to do is just run it and then uh, instead of opening it each time and modifying it you just want to pass in the name of a directory 
just in the command line or the terminal in which you're running this so otherwise you would have to open this and manually change this this time like this you have to just change this open this file and manually change it what if you want to just type it you want to be able to run this script without having to modify it so for that let's do this import sys now i'm importing the sys module after that what you can do is that if you type in sys and org v and you type in one so this is one stands for uh, one argument now what it means is that it is using the org v or the argument function of the sys module so one means uh, take one variable as an input or take one input or one argument as an input so first of all what we can do is that let me go ahead in here and uh, how can I save this one control is so yeah I have saved it now once I have saved it now in here you cannot run it because you have to pass in the argument so for this I'm going to this terminal and in here if I do an ls you can see that this my script dot pi this is the script uh, I'm running now in here what you can do is that you can type in Python tree and then you have to type in the name of your script which in this case is my script .py. and after that pass in the location so let's type in the same location users ma academy and then what you can do is type in documents and now you can see that you get the same output you can also do it from here it doesn't matter so let me go to my so this uh, script cd documents ls so you can see that uh, you can view all of this uh, ones in here as well dir1 dr2 dr3 and in here you can see that dr1 2 3 and it will show the contents of uh, if you show something like dir1 cddr1 ls and then if i do cd or else i can do this probably like dir2 and also dir3 and dir1 so you can see that uh, you can view them like this and this is the script that we can run from our terminal so this is uh, this terminal and this terminal they are both the same you can run it uh, this script as easily in this once you uh, you have to identify where the script is so once you identify it you can type in python tree and then uh, name of the script which in this case was my script dot py and then just pass in the location of something in here the, and then run it you can do it from here as well so this is it for this tutorial uh, if you have any questions suggestions recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one